best boxing content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and punch that bell for notifications. Ladies and gentlemen, we're set to go with our next bout of the evening. It is scheduled for four rounds in the junior welterweight division. Brought to you by Lou DiBella's DiBella Entertainment. Sponsored by Manfredi Auto Group, Nulio.com, and Everlast. Judges ringside, Frank Lombardi, Tony Paolillo, and Ron McNair. Your referee for this contest, David Fields. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears black with red trim. He weighed in at 143 pounds. Professional record, three victories, one defeat. He has two wins coming by way of knockout. From New Orleans, Louisiana, Demond Body Shot Brock. Brock. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner. He wears the white trunks with the flag of Puerto Rico. He tipped the scales at 141 pounds. Professional record, thus far perfect. One fight, one victory, and that victory came by way of knockout. From the boogie down, Bronx, New York, Luz Cruz. Okay, gentlemen, we scheduled to box four rounds. You both know the rules. I expect you to obey my commands at all times. Most of all, protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves, good luck. Luis Cruz taking on Damon Brock. Cruz, of course, in the white trunks. Brock out of New Orleans, fighting in the black trunks, the red trim. And Brock told me before the fight, he said, I'm ready. He said, my style is the hagger, haggle light. I'm ready. Well, he's want to pressure him. He's got the physique. He looks to be in shape. And the first two rounds of this matchup is interesting to me because Luis Cruz was late tonight. Got here about a half hour ago. So I'm not sure if he was properly warmed up. He didn't have his um, boxing shoes with him when he got here. Someone had to go get, get his boxing shoes. So. I'm curious to see how loose he will be the first couple rounds. Just the second fight for Luis Cruz. There's a right hand. As both of these guys try to fill each other out, they're only going four rounds. But getting back to Demon Howard. I mean, I'm sorry, Demon Brock. He says that, you know, he's ready to fight. He's looking forward to upsetting the New Yorker. So we start talking about his record. They say you're 3-1, you lost your, your, your debut. You know, what happened? He says, well, things happen. He said, but it won't happen tonight. Cruz using that left jab. And early on, Cruz, I expect Brock to be in an aggressive posture. But Cruz is sort of in an aggressive posture also, which I don't like. He's popped Brock a couple of times with the jab. Now here comes Brock with a couple of combinations. You already see a cut on the right eye of Brock. Side of the right eye. Now, see, this is what I don't understand. Now, Cruz turned south for a while. Stay conventional and pop the jab to that side of the eye. Left hook by Brock. Cruz shakes it off. See, yeah, just do, do, do not understand why he turned south for. You know, we've talked a, a number of times about this. Now he's gone back to the conventional way. Brock, the combination body head. See, if you're on the conventional side, you could jab and throw left hooks to work on that eye, open it up. You know, give Brock something to worry about. Nice body shot there by yeah, Brock. Yeah, Brock has definitely tried to work the body. Now 
Now you can see the blood streaming out of that right eye of Brock. And Brock getting a little desperate also. Yeah, he's definitely coming in, leaving himself open. And there's a little trash talk here in between the rounds. I like it, I like it. We got ourselves a fight here. And beat up. Coach Marco Suarez want him to um, faint, pull out and throw right hands. Who says your Spanish is any good? <laughs> Here's round two. Let's see, see if yeah, Cruz go, goes uh, right after that eye. And it seems like Brock, because of the cut, has a sense of urgency. As well he should, four round fight. See, Cruz, Lewis Cruz has the distance right now, just hasn't let his hands go, but he has the distance that he needs. Rock continues to try to pound the body, and Cruz tagging Brock with that jab. See, that, so that's what you want. That's why I didn't understand why they turned south for. Pop the jab, throw left hooks off for that. There's a left hook by Brock. Cruz comes back with a straight right cross. And Brock is moving forward, but straight forward. No angles, no jab. And I think that's why Cruz is able to roam freely. See, there's a jab, but just one jab is not gonna do it. It's easy to time a guy like Brock. It's easy to time a guy like Brock because he's coming straight in. And he just did it. Well, Brock tags Cruz there with that right hand. There's another right hand by Brock that connects on Cruz. See, now when Cruz gets when Brock closes the gap there on Cruz, Cruz needs to throw out a stiff jab. Just like that, as he pops that left. Now he switched to southpaw. And I think Brock just needs to up the tempo a little. Throw more punches. Cruz is, again, able to roam freely because there's not much coming at him. There's Brock trying to work that body of Cruz. Coming up now, round three, Luis Cruz, Devon Brock. These welterweights are going forward, and you can hear the corner of Brock basically saying, you got to go and take his body. Right, they're saying, you know, attack the body, which is smart. Attack the body, but don't stop there. Attack the body and go right upstairs. Now if you're in Brock Corner, you should be in a bit of a panic mode. First two rounds going. The guy lost the first two rounds. So now you, you go into a little panic mode. Yeah, the corner of Lewis Cruz, you can hear him yelling to him, make him think about coming in. So pop him with the jab. A combination by Cruz. Nice jab. Calls it up with his left jab. The left jab. See, now Cruz has accomplished what he wanted. Brock is now worried about the jab. And once you get a strong, aggressive guy worried about your jab, oh, nice oh, left left hand. I was just about to say. It knocked Brock right out. Once you get a strong, aggressive guy worried about the jab, you can hit him with power shots. Wow. 
What a shot by Luis Cruz. And Brock got up and said he's okay. He's okay now. He wasn't okay 12 seconds ago. Wow. Big time shot by Luis Cruz in just his second professional fight as he floors Demon Brock. He hypnotized him with that stiff jab, kept popping a stiff jab. And Cruz. Ace Hotel. I love you guys, man. Let's take a look at this knockout here, Brian. Well, again, Cruz had him. Brock is following him, following him. Soon as he stepped, soon as he set to throw the power punch, Cruz is ready for him. Watch this. Cruz got him following him. He's following. You never follow a boxer. Soon as he set the punch, Cruz beat him to a short left hook, dead on the chin. That was beautiful. And, and, and Brock started yelling, he's okay. At about the count of 14. He was okay at that point. But 12 seconds early, he wasn't okay. You gotta love it. I mean, how he sidestepped that punch and then threw it, threw that left out and then connected flush. And well, Luis Cruz. Well, listen, a cardinal sin, do not follow a boxer. Someone with a good jab, do not follow him. His power punches can sneak in and surprise you. And they always say the shots you don't see are the ones that hurt. All right, let's go up to the ring. Here's Dave Diamante. Ladies and One, two, three, four, here we go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, referee David Fields calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, one minute and 12 seconds into round number three. Your winner by knockout from the Bronx, New York, still undefeated, Lewis Cruz. An impressive knockout for Luis Cruz, 2-0. Both coming by knockout as he floors Damon Brock in the third round.